Hey everybody, Stephen Key here. I want to talk about, oh, when do you quit? Now, I probably have done this before, but this comes up all the time. And sometimes, you know, someone might tell you, hey, we don't, you know, you might come up with this great idea and you might show it to a friend or your spouse and they go, uh, you know, I'm not too wild about it. We don't think that's, I don't think that's going to do very well. Don't listen to anybody. Just don't do that. And don't quit if someone tells you they don't like it. Don't ever do it that way. If you think you've got a good idea, it's so simple to get those ideas to company. So don't listen to anybody because the only opinion that ever really truly matters is the companies you're showing it to. Right? So because we had a situation recently that this person was a little discouraged and ended up just, you know, I don't know, he got a little frustrated and he thought he was just going to stop, but he wanted to go forward. I told him, go forward. Don't care what anybody says. If you like it, doesn't matter what I say about it. If you like it, go forward. And you're going to learn a lot of things. Even if, it, even if you don't license it, you're still going to learn a tremendous amount of information. It's still important. In fact, I think you learn more when things don't go exactly right. I hate to tell people that, but I, I think you do. So don't quit. Now, when do you quit? I don't, I'm, not, I'm like the worst guy to ask that question to because when I was doing my rotating label, you know, this over here, you've seen this probably a dozen times. You're probably getting sick of it. When I was doing this rotating label, you see it right here, I got rejected by over 100 companies. Yeah, they all rejected me. In fact, I've, I've kept every letter too. That's how, that's how weird I am. <laughs> I kept every letter. I was going to make a poster out of it. I've been rejected by the, the best and the biggest. So why didn't I quit? Right? I got rejected a hundred times. And what's really weird, I had someone that got me in to high level people. It wasn't like I couldn't get in. I got in. They told me no. So I didn't quit. So when some people ask me, you know, when do you quit? You get a couple no's, do you quit? Well, I didn't quit. I didn't quit because I knew deep down I was going to keep on pushing. But did I, did I get to the point where I was going to, you know, start spending money I didn't have? No. Was I going to get to the point where, you know, I was going to get in debt to do it? No. Was I going to be doing silly stuff? No. Don't ever do that, regardless. But that doesn't mean you have to you know, put your product to the side or, or quit. Find a way to keep moving. Find a way. Find out what's wrong. Keep on asking questions. Find that company that wants it. Now, a hundred companies said no, but, but one said yes. And that's all it took was one to say yes. Um, I've seen more of uh, people that I know. One particular person, Ryan Diaz, that did the Wolf Washer 360 over here. He got turned down by everybody. He didn't quit. Everybody turned them down. Everybody said, no, it's, it's too this, it's too that, whatever. It's too big. I don't care what they said. They said no. But did he quit? No. A lot of people probably would have quit. He didn't quit. Did he do anything silly by, you know, spending money he didn't have? Of course not. So don't be, don't be crazy about it. But he found a way. And, and that was going to a smaller company and doing some other things. And before you know it, the product's selling everywhere. So... Just be careful, you guys. To, to, don't listen, to, don't listen to, to people that are telling you you can't do this. Find a community that, that or find a spouse or find an inventors group or find, find your organization. Find your friends that do support you and, and keep moving forward if you feel it, right? If you feel it and if you know it. But don't be so stubborn that when people give you good information, a feedback of how you can improve it, don't, don't, do not, uh, don't, don't just walk away and don't take that information because I'll tell you, sometimes the creativity comes afterwards. Meaning you come up with a great idea, you show it to a company, they give you feedback. And sometimes that feedback is where you got to come back to them because they told you maybe it's too big or maybe you've added too many bells and whistles or, just, or it's going to cost too much. They've challenged you to come back to redesign. That's where that creativity comes back again. And that's where you need to be a pro and come back, take it. Don't be too stubborn. Take it because a lot of these companies that you're going to submit it to are really good at this. Doesn't mean they're all good at this. Doesn't mean they miss some of them every once in a while. Of course they do. But some of that information, which I like to call 
will give you the keys to the kingdom. They'll give you the, the, the roadmap that you need to keep moving forward. So when you pitch it to another company, you've made those improvements. There you go, you guys. Stephen Key, don't quit. Keep on watching it. And um, I want to wish everybody a happy, well, I'm not going to say happy Thanksgiving because who knows when this is going to be live. Anyway, you guys, thank you for listening. And make sure you get the watch David, Fido, Amy, Joe. They got two other channels on how to get you to get your products out there. Um, stay with it, you guys. You can do this. Once again, Stephen Key, I love this business. Don't stop. Stop.